Crois-tu que Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala nous envoie des anges quand on a besoin d'aide dans un grand détresse Moi je le crois. Et je sais qu'il y a encore des histoires très récentes où ce qu'Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala envoie des anges pour aider les gens. Regardons cette belle histoire. One of the salaf rahimahullah قال كان لي حمار أكتريه. He said I had a donkey, and the purpose of this donkey was to rent it to the people, for the people to pay me to transport them from one point to another. And a man came to me. فقال يا فلان. He said on so and so أتصلني إلى كذا وكذا. Can you take me from this point to that to that point? I said, I will take you. The man said to me, Inni la a'lamu tariqan fihi ikhtisa. He said, I know a road that can take me where I want. It's a shortcut. Let us take this road. I said to the man, but I'm not familiar with that. He said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. I know the area very well. I can take you where I want to go and it's a shortcut and it's for you to come back earlier for your business, for your next trip. I listened to him. I trusted him. He looked decent. He's a normal man. He said, I walked and we walked and we walked and finally we came to a dead end. And the man, he drew his sword and he pointed at me. Qala, tanah, get out of the way. I said to the man, you know, out of fear, I panicked. Qala al himaru lak, wad darahimu lak, da'ni wa sha'ni. He said, the donkey is yours and the wealth is yours. Let me go back to my family, to my children. For you to expose me so I won't do this to anyone else, I won't let you go. I will kill you. I will take your donkey. I will take your money and I will kill you. I need to bury this secret right here. If this is what you want to do, Allow me to pray to Raka. Allow me. He said, Fadahik and the man, you know, out of arrogance, he does not care. He laughed. You know, do you want to pray? Go ahead, you know, do it fast. He said, So I said, Allahu Akbar. He said, because out of fear, concern, and panic, it seems that the Quran was taken away from my heart. I'm standing. I want to pray. I want to read the Quran. I want to communicate to my Lord. This is a moment of truth. This is the time that I need to connect with my Lord. This is the time that I need His help. This is the time that I need to talk to Him. He said, but there is no Quran in my heart. I can't remember anything. And he said, Subhanallah. And the man, he said, Ta'ajjal ya rajul. He said, finish your prayer. Why are you standing there? I remember the word, the ayah from the Quran when Allah said, and who will respond to the stress to the person when he's in need of, it, in need of Allah and in a state of stress? Who else will respond? He said, for wallahi, fa'idha bifarisin, he said, I finished the salah and all I said was this ayah. I had nothing else. I had no more, no more Quran. And when I finished my salah and I submitted myself and I was ready to die, a man, a man on his horse just approached us. He has a spear 
and he's waving and the man was supposed to be killing me he has the sword and he looked at him he said and he threw that sphere and wallah he did not miss his heart he didn't miss and I said, you know, out of happiness and joy, and the killer is on the ground, and this man is approaching me on his horse. And I said, Man anta rahimakallah. Who are you? May Allah have mercy on you. Faqala ana rasul man yujib al mudarra ida da'a. He said, I am the messenger of your Lord. I am the messenger of the one that you call upon when in a state of stress. Allah has sent was an angel appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save that person because the person was in a state of stress. Merci d'avoir regardé. Et à la prochaine fois, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.